Seven Dangerous Facts About Thailand. Um, uh, I'm going to title this video uh, Seven Dangerous uh, Truths or Untruths About Dating a Thai Lady. And, and, and the first one is, these are the things that tripped me up before I got here. Uh, some of these things caused me some real pain. I got some very bad advice on the internet, uh, reading a forum from somebody claiming to know all about this, and they said exactly the opposite of what's really true. Um, I found out the hard way. So... Uh, the first one is um, that you need to support the girl's family. If you've done any reading or studying about Thai culture, you're going to be, you're going to be aware that they, uh, they want you or expect you to support their family. And that's true and not true. I don't support my girlfriend's family. I've been here uh, seven, almost eight months. We're in a pretty serious relationship. Um, they attach to you quickly, as I've said before. So... This kind of, you know, cuts both ways with me. Her boys call me sort of like a, a, it's almost like a nickname for dad. It's like uncle or respected older family member. It's, it's, it's very close to almost dad, which it makes me slightly uncomfortable because we still don't know each other that well yet. So to underscore the point that we're in a pretty serious committed relationship and, and uh, I don't give money to her family. I don't pay them for her. I don't support. Now, she has a government job. I haven't taken her from her government job. Um, she, I know she's giving money to her, her family because she doesn't want to talk about her bank account at all, and I don't talk about mine, and then she drops it. Um, but in, in a positive way, not in some adversarial way. I mean, this isn't a positive relationship. She's been very genuine and kind with me. Um, you know, there were some bumps along the road that did involve money. Um, we'll probably get more into all that, I'm sure, at some point. But uh, um, So supporting the family. Yeah, if it's a very poor family, and you're going to know that, um, after you meet them and such, and you're taking her away and out of the picture, I mean, yeah, what do you think? I mean, these people are really poor. You can't take $10,000 in monthly support coming from a daughter and take that away and say, well, I'm just going to go and party with your daughter every night. You know, it, that isn't really cool. So you are. But on the other hand, you know, maybe she's already got a job. Maybe the family isn't poor. And a lot of these ties, man, they're not poor. My girlfriend's family, so they, they're not poor. I mean... The parents are, and some of the other people are, but she's got uncles and stuff that are wealthy. I mean, even by American standards, wealthy. I mean, so they're not all poor, and they're not all uneducated and all that, and her family, she's the third person to have a degree or something like that. I mean, they're, they're, there's some education. So anyways, uh, so supporting the girl's family, you have to kind of watch that one. You have to really, it's got to make sense from an, uh, uh, a Western, you know, American standpoint. It, it can't just be, oh, we're in Thailand and this is the rule. That's a red flag. Scammers do that. We're, you know, they'll more or less say, this is Thailand, this is the way it is, and you have to do. They've, just, they've come up with a simple rule. It's a straw man argument. If you're familiar with that term, you can look it up. But um, scammers will do that a lot, a lot. They rely on that, and they rely on our ignorance to prey on us and extract money from us. And then part of the scammer model is to really hurt you, to embarrass you so you won't talk about it. Uh, and then that's when the pains really come in, man. So you do have to watch those people. So that's what this video is a little bit about, dangerous truths and untruths. So giving the, the, the family money. The other one is paying a dowry. Um, there's a name for it here. I forget. A couple of my friends who know more Thai than me uh, 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 had the word on the tip of their tongue. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it's, it's a dowry. They're going to want you to pay money to the family. They won't say the Thai word. They'll just say, you know, money or something. And... Uh, uh, you have to really watch that too. That's for a virgin. Obviously, without kids, if she's a virgin, she doesn't have kids. Okay, let's check that one by uh, guys. Um, and uh, um, and that's when you're marrying. There'll be a marrying ceremony, and I'm saying the monk and the pouring water and the tying the wrist thing. That's all the Thai people normally do here. They rarely register their marriages. They rarely do. So if anyone's pressuring you to register your marriage. Man, real big red flag. Real, that's like a nuclear red flag. I'd really, 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 I'd consider running. I really would. Um, so uh, there's really no reason. For, they, they don't do that here. Okay, so you don't need to. 
So, so I'm going to get the first two, the short little clip here. This is, this is going to be the first two. So th they need money all the time. They got to pay the family and the dowry and the dowry. I've said this before in another video, I'll mention it here. You should be in that range of 300,000 baht to, you know, 500,000 baht. Um, so that's roughly 2000 ish us dollars in that kind of range you know 1500 to 3000 no more than 3000 that that'd be like seven wait a minute am i screwing that up i'm screwing that up uh, uh hang on a sec uh 350,000 baht is 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 ten thousand dollars that's the easy way to look at it. every 350,000 is 10 grand so they're going they're going they're they're looking for kind of like real money i'm sorry i, I I only had one cup of coffee this morning. Apologize for the bad math. I'm usually I'm pretty good at math, but I'm a little tired. So uh, did the pee my thing last night with my buddy John. It's his fault. So uh, yeah, so you're you're looking in that range. So you know around three hundred thousand. They're 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 real happy. So that's eight or nine thousand dollars. It's not nothing, okay. But that's again that's a virgin, no kids, all that stuff. Uh, if if they have that. Uh, if, if like my girlfriend background just come in, they're older, they've got kids and, and, and all that stuff, then they need some kind of face saving something, okay? Uh, that can be more in the form of the gold bot, maybe a house you're going to build. You can put it in her name because it's going to end up in her name if she wants anyways. Um, there is one, maybe one way to maybe, maybe avoid that and we'll talk about that. A friend of mine's attorney came up with a really clever idea, but again, it, it's, it's super slippery to try to hold on to stuff here. The main thing is just don't spend a lot and then you don't lose a lot. That's the best advice I've gotten so far. So that's the first couple, more to come. Okay, the next one is, is that Thai girls want only money and you can just manage your relationship financially and you're just gonna come here and just do your thing and just gonna pay some girl and that's gonna be the end of it. Um, uh, you know, you know, Thai people are just like American people in many, 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 many ways. The culture is hugely different, but people are people, and and you know a lot of them they they want to be respected and cared for, and and have someone they really you know love and make them look good and and all that. So uh, they really, really tend to genuinely emotionally attach to you. You start supporting them and helping them. Like I've said, Thai culture, it's you give a gift to someone, they may ask how much it costs. And that's more of a country culture. I think a person more urban and a little more modern, a little more. You know, and sophisticated maybe is a little bit of a harsh word, but uh, um, they uh, they won't do that. But but you get the idea. Another uh, mis uh, misconception is is that people or everyone's just going to love and appreciate you because now you speak Thai or you've learned a little bit of Thai or something, and and oh that's great. Man, that's not true at all. Um, I've told I've told you guys before. My my girlfriend's been formally chewed out and chastised for teaching me Thai. Um, Many Thais don't like that. Uh, a minority, I think it's a minority. Uh, it's, it's women. It's been all women that have complained um, because they, and these, some of these, well, one of them for sure is a scammer, um, for sure. And she was pretty upset that, uh, you know, that Fawn's teaching me Thai along with the school and along my own studies. And, uh, you know, the quote was, well, no one needs a Falang that can speak Thai. Um, so you, 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 you know, it's not always going to be a positive. Culturally, walking around town, going about your business, bowing and knowing a little bit of language, they will be super impressed. Most foreigners come here, they don't speak anything. Five years in, they speak just the bare, barely beyond a Sawadi and a Chai or a Mai or Chai Mai or something like, Mai Chai or something like that, or, or Chai Mai. Those are two different, to careful, those are two totally separate things. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so, so just beyond some real basics, you know, and, and five, I mean, people think I've been here, you know, five years plus, uh, you know, seven, eight years, they, they guess a long time because of my language. And, and again, I speak fairly little on an overall basis. I probably speak at somewhere around the level of a, you know, seven-year-old or six-year-old or something, but, uh, um, uh, you know, compared to most expats, that's a lot, but not everybody's going to appreciate that. They're not going to go, oh, wow, that's so great, you know, but the people who are put off by your speaking, that's a great uh, barometer for maybe what kind of person you're dealing with because uh, people should appreciate it. Uh, ties will always take time. Even if they're talking about a subject, I'm with a group of ties, they're talking about a subject, my, my vocabulary is particularly strong and I can really dive into the conversation. Sometimes they're just want to talk about work, gossip about someone at work or something like that. There'll be a keyword I don't recognize. I'll ask what it is and it's someone's name. 
and and I can't tell a name from another noun. I haven't I, I haven't deciphered any pattern in what it, what would be a name versus what wouldn't be a name. I, I that one's beyond me. Maybe there is no pattern. I don't know. But uh, and I'll kind of back out of the conversation because they they just want to do their tie thing and do their put doom, uh, their gossip. Again, it's, it's the national pastime here. They don't care about the war in Russia or whatever. They don't care about whatever who's got the new intercontinental missile or or what the inflation's going. They care about what their cousin's you know, neighbor did yesterday that was so stupid or, or, or so insulting. They, they're, they're, their interests are very centric to their lives, uh, typically, typically. And this is, this is maybe more true in the farm culture I'm a part of, maybe in a bigger city. Actually, in a bigger city, you will get, uh, I, I, I can actually, I can verify that. Uh, in a bigger city, you'll get a little, little broader conversation. So, uh, you know, um, and they'll tend to be a little more inclusive of you in, 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 in a little more urban environment, uh, at, least, at least in Colat, for sure. Uh, in the tourist areas, yeah, they're going to be inclusive of, of everything because they want your money. You know, they're, 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 some of the tourist places are really brutal and just extracting money from a, from, a, from a foreigner. Okay, that's that one. This next one is uh, about the massage business here. Uh, that the massage, uh, the masseuses here in the tourist areas and the, the big full-on towns and stuff, that they're not actually full-on prostitutes. And that's a super, super dangerous one. I've seen that trip up many a guy here. Um, and not that they're, they become, I've talked about the schools before, they become incredibly hard-hearted. The schools are absolutely awful and inhumane and, 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 and really should be illegal, but uh, uh, probably do a thing on that sometime. But uh, uh, your massage girl, you can, if you marry her, you got to really, really know what you're marrying. If you're going to make her your girlfriend, you got to really, really know what you're getting because everything they did with you, they're going to be doing with everybody else all day. So super, super dangerous on that one. Okay, here at the school, I think we're on number five, which is freelancers are safer. Girls who work freelance, so we're talking about a working girl. That's a very common thing here. So we need to talk about it. That's not my scene, but again, it's a very common scene here. You need to know about it. Some many people, for whatever reason, think that's a safer way to go. Man, that is really not true. Um, you, going to a bar, bar girl, and it can be like a bar girl bar, which will be super obvious. And this is only in the tourist destinations of Koh Samui Island, of uh, Pattaya, and uh, probably Hua Hin as well. Uh, Bangkok, of course, which the Thai word for Bangkok is Grin Tip. Um, uh, you'll see the girls all lined up and they're all wearing mini skirts and they'll be super obvious there's something going on there but there are restaurants that you would not think <laughs> and uh, you but you you'll kind of get the vibe that, that the, the girls a little more than your server um, anyway so uh, that's a lot safer because you've got a business establishment with an address a real brick-and-mortar location you can go to if you have a grievance they will know that and so they enforce general standards and uh, uh, behavioral codes with uh, ladies that work for them. Uh, even if the girl works for them on a loosey, slightly freelance kind of basis, she'll be tied out of that bar. They'll know you'll come back hopping mad, probably with the Thai police, who will do something about it if you're robbed. The, the, the police here are generally quite good. Not above asking for a little bribe here or there, but they're fairly small. And, and I've never experienced that, uh, praise God. But... Uh, um, it does happen in a little bribe here or there, you're gonna have to pay it. But other than when that happens, the police are pretty good and they generally investigate very thoroughly, much more thoroughly than I'm used to in the US, I'll say that. I mean, the, a lot of times the you know, you're you a victim of a crime and you, you, they, they fill out a form for you and, I, and you get the feeling they're not doing a thing for you. Here, that's not the case, here they investigate. So uh, anyway, so so that's number five. That's your uh, freelancer, sir. <laughs> are not safer. And the freelancer is a girl by herself, you know, like here's this telephone pole behind me. She'd be leaning against this pole or they'd be in the edge of a park, leaning by a tree, hanging out under a tree. And they'll be dressed like an obvious lady of the night. They'll be wearing garish, garish clothing, super eye-catching, ridiculous stuff. And, uh, and they'll give you the story of how their uncle made them come and all that and, and down here and to do this. And none of that is true. Um, and the danger is she's not alone. You'll see her alone. But there'll be a group of typically the number, for whatever reason, is five. Five other men who will be with her. Maybe they're making her work. Maybe she's just a willing participant. Doesn't really matter to you. You're going to get robbed either way. Uh, and, and, you know, generally not killed, but you'll get scared real good when five strangers enter your hotel room unannounced. You'll get scared real good. 
and um, and you won't like handing over all your stuff. And the main thing is your identity and your your, your iPhone and your wallet and your passport. And they can, depending on how nice or not the robbers are, they can make it much worse for you. So um, you want to avoid the uh, avoid the freelancers. Okay, six and seven of uh, myths that really trip people up. Um, uh, number six is that time is impossible to learn and you shouldn't bother to try. That's just not not true and you want to learn Thai a little bit at least like I've said before I don't want to be a broken record and beat that point too much um, and again if you don't want to learn any of it and that you, and you can get by without learning any you really can uh, pay attention to the culture well, is really more critical uh, but at least learn some basics it'll help but but some people will tell you and these are usually scammers by the way that Thai is impossible to learn and you shouldn't bother to learn sometimes though it'll be your Thai girlfriend or even your Thai wife oh they'll just discourage you they'll just throw water on it all day long how it's so impossible oh I can't understand you when you talk and I don't understand any Falang when they talk and yeah again all these lies are kind of buried in truth which makes them really hard here but and occasionally I have somebody who just does not understand at all when I'm speaking. Some of them are just shocked that a Falang is speaking and I've got the drop jawed bug guy just, you know, they're just staring at me. Um, and then there'll be a person at the street food stand right next door translating and they're repeating with the same tonality because I can hear it that I am. And then they're understanding when, the, when they see a Thai speaking and the Thai, you know, quote unquote translator because they're not translating, I am speaking it correctly. Um, uh, you know, looks at me like, I don't know what's going on. You know, they don't understand it, and 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 that's just a laughable thing. Now, sometimes I mangle a word or or two. You know, I'm just not quite there with the tonality. I'll correct on on some of my words. I'm not perfect. I'm not the best speaker around. I'm not going to try and make that claim. I, I've got friends with way bigger vocabularies than mine. I think I speak better than they do, but they've got bigger vocabularies. So, wish we could combine that. Anyway, so all right, so that's. Uh, that's number, that's number six. Thai is not impossible uh, uh, to learn. Uh, number seven is going to be, you're just going to come here and everybody's just going to love you and adore you because you're a Falang. And I've been talking all about how valuable we are and the social capital we have. And it's going to be just great. And, you know, the, the heavens are going to open up for you. And then, buddy, that ain't happening either. Um, you're going to find a very high desirability. The more rural and the more further away from tourist destinations you go, you will find an increased desirability and interest in you. And co commensurate with that, you will get an increased authenticity in that interest in you. It will be more of a true love, more of a genuine caring for you. Um, in Pattaya, I'm a dime a dozen, buddy. You know, I mean, okay, I'm... I'm you know, I'm uh, in, in, I'm in shape, which is odd for an for a retired age person. Um, uh, you know, and and so there's a little bit of extra there, and I can speak a little bit, so there's a little bit extra there maybe for me. Some girls won't like that, but then that's a great way to weed them out. But the ones that like that I can speak, then I know that's a little better. And so okay, but I'm not really a a big deal in Pattaya. I'm really not. I come out here to Nansung, and I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. I, I like it. I like it. I mean, I went from being a badly injured, disabled, unable to make money, just really not doing well guy. Just a year ago, just a year ago, I was in the States just finishing up my divorce. And it was someone that was supposed to love me and care for me that, that really didn't anymore now that I wasn't really bringing in the money. And uh, and here it's like, you know, I'm like, I feel like Tom Cruise or something, you know? I mean, it's, uh, you know, I get people, I get this incredible reaction from people on the street. Uh, you know, a busload of kids or a carload of kids will come out and go, oh, so ID, so ID, you know? And they just want to, and I get adults, I get ladies, I get constantly just insanely beautiful young women flirting with me. Um, it just, which feels good. I don't do anything with it, but it just feels good. It's, I mean, everybody likes being appreciated. If you say you don't like being appreciated, I think you're lying, you know? Um, so, so, uh, will everybody love and appreciate you? Yes and no. It depends on where you are. And even here, not everybody does. I've had a couple dirty looks from a couple of Thai men. They, they look at my girlfriend. They probably assume she's a bar girl cause she's you know, young and pretty. And, uh, she's you know, actually, as you know, a mid-level government employee. And, and if we get that reaction somewhere, she needs to save face. She wants to wear her uniform the next day. And the, the, the uniforms here are very official looking. They look like you're in the Navy or something. They're very, very official looking. Um, she want to wear it and so that person can see them and she's done that deliberately and one lady has not spoken to us since uh fawn has done that she was uh maybe she was embarrassed or she's put off now that fawn's not actually a bar girl 
so whatever but so um i think those are seven real big popular misconceptions that can trip you up some of those really hurt me uh, i wish i would have saw this video a, a while ago but you know whatever so all right guys uh good luck <laughs>